When you're ready to get rid of your old car, you have two options, trade it in at a dealership or sell it privately. While you're likely to get more money by selling your car yourself, the convenience of trading it into a dealership outweighs selling it in many cases. Hi, I'm Mike with Drivio, a better way to sell your car. Ask anyone who's ever had to do a trade-in, and they'll tell you that the convenience of arriving at a dealership with your old car and leaving with the new ride is about as easy as it gets. If you choose to go that route, here are some options to help you maximize the value of your car and get the most out of your trade. This may seem pretty obvious, but the first step to getting the most for your trade-in is knowing what it's worth. Truth is, dealerships want your car, especially if it's in good condition. Believe it or not, it's much more lucrative for dealerships to sell used cars than new since new cars have manufacturer suggested retail prices. When it comes to used cars, dealerships have a little more leeway. With used cars, dealers pay you for your trade-in, then recondition the car prior to selling it. In order to maximize what they can potentially get for your used car, they tend to offer you as little as possible. By knowing the expected value of your car before going to the dealership, you're less likely to be taken advantage of. Look to Kelly Blue Book to determine what the current value of your car is in your city. Now you know the value of your car, but do you know how well you've taken care of it? It's time to show how well you've taken care of it by having all of your car's service papers handy so the dealership will know the car is in good shape. If you don't have your service papers, call the shop where you had your car serviced and ask for extra copies. Let's say you're ready to sell your convertible, but you find out nobody wants to buy a convertible in winter. You're less likely to get a good deal on vehicles that are not in season. Additionally, when gas prices go up, most people look at hybrids over SUVs. Keep in mind that there are also two main seasons in car buying and selling tax season, and just before the holidays. If you still owe money on your car, consider waiting until it's paid off or nearly there. Don't put yourself in a vulnerable position where you owe more on the car than it's worth. Spent the last few years eating breakfast in your car while on your commute? We all do it. It's time to clean everything from the glove compartment to the door and seat pockets to the cup holders. Get a good quality odor remover to eliminate lingering smells. Clean the windows and dust around the dashboard. Touch-up paint is your friend so use it to eliminate any unsightly issues your car might have. You can even have a professional wash the engine and inner wheel walls. Make it look as good as new when you take it into the dealership. If your car is worse for the wear and you can't fix it by yourself, take your car to a professional detailer. While this can come with a hefty price tag, you'll appreciate it when you get more for your vehicle, and you'll more than likely recoup the cost of the detailing when you trade it in. Don't try and cover things up like damage or high mileage. If you've been in an accident, these things will show up in your car's history report anyway. If you expect the dealership to be honest with you, you need to be honest with them too. While some dealerships know better, there are still others that like to play games as potential buyers are getting ready to surrender their keys. It's always a good idea to have two sets of keys when trading in your vehicle for this very issue, as well as for the convenience of the sale. Call before you go. If you get a negative impression on the phone, don't bother visiting the dealership. There are plenty of great dealerships out there who are willing to treat you well and give you the best deal possible for your vehicle. You should always feel comfortable walking away. Even if the dealership you're with feels comfortable, check out other dealerships to see what they can offer you. It never hurts to get a second, third, or fourth opinion. Avoid mixing the negotiating of your trade-in with the price of a new vehicle. The value of the car you're trading in has nothing to do with the price of a new vehicle. Don't let the dealership convince you otherwise. When you're settling on a price you agree with, get the salesperson to write that price into your contract so you get credit for the new vehicle you're buying. There is another way to get more for your trade. It's called Drivio. Drivio is just as easy as trading your car in, but you'll get more money for your trade. We'll even go as far as saying that Drivio is easier and better than trading in. Let the professionals at Drivio value your car and save you time and money along the way. Get your quote online in minutes. Just go to Drivio.com. 